All right, today, uh, well actually yesterday, I went ahead and removed the door molding on this side because it was already peeled out some. So I just went ahead and seen how it was and it is just double sided on. And uh, so that pulled that one. It didn't come off as good as I would like, like as clean as I'd like. So uh, for this side, I'm actually going to try the fishing line. Now I've done emblems and stuff like that and I actually done the door molding on this truck. Like the truck had a, you know the door molding all the way down the side and I've done that with the fishing line. So this is older so I mean it might be a little a little bit more but uh, I'm going to go ahead and try this and then then uh, clean it up later on and uh, just one more process. So, uh, as you can tell, my fish line is getting brittle and it just keeps breaking and I didn't feel like taking a heat gun, taking all that time, considering I'm replacing them anyways, I'm not using the same ones. So, uh, went ahead and got it off and now I just got to get this foam tape off. You can see right there. I mean, it's... it's it's not like it's really hard to do. It's just, it's time consuming. So, uh, that'll be the next thing. Not sure if I'm going to get to it today or not. But, uh, uh, that's, that's the next step. And probably after that, I'll be drilling, drilling all the panels out. So, uh, other than that, it's, uh, the LX inversion is just about done. All right, I went ahead and done this one side, drilled these plates that was up here. This is how they were to hold the little molding in. They had the rivets, you can see uh, there. I just drilled those out, but there was a panel here, here, and you can see some of the surface rust behind it, uh, behind even all of it, like even down at this bottom one. And then you can see right here. So, and that was all behind them panels. So, what I'm gonna do is try to sign, try to uh, and send those down some and hit those with some uh, primer before I do anything else. You know, as far as you know, paint-wise or any of that. So, I do plan on hitting the spots that have rust or surface rust. Sand those down past the rust if I can and just hit them with some spray primer or something like a rust oleum or something like that that way it doesn't happen again because uh, as far as I know the only thing on the LX is just the panels that go here the molding it shouldn't the, all this should be open now so I've, I've got to fill these holes in these I will not have to fill in and the ones up front I won't have to fill in like these I shouldn't have to fill in because I'll all be covered up I will probably clean it up real good and maybe lightly sand it and spray it with some uh, like I said some primer and uh, but I don't have to fill them but these and all the bottom ones I will have to fill and up here I don't think I have to fill any of this I think this whole panel covers everything because because this comes out a pretty good ways. So I'm thinking this covered all this. So I shouldn't have to worry about any of that. All right, I went ahead and kind of quick detailed it and lightly sanded where the, uh, where some of the surface rust was. And I went ahead and touched the, and this part, you know, I won't have to worry about because it, it has the things over it since I drilled the rivets out I didn't want it to be you know just raw metal sitting there and can rust so I went ahead and hit those with primer hit that area that you seen that had uh, rust on it done this whole panel all the way down and some underneath because you know you've seen the little rust like streaks going down so I hit those with sandpaper and done those and uh, and had got this one and done the same thing with these 
bolt or the holes. So uh, got all this side's pretty much done. I ordered a uh, they call it an eraser wheel that I'm going to try to get this stuff off. Um, I'll show you on the pasture side what it looks like before it got to this. Cause I've been taking and you know barely scraping what I can off, and then I was gonna take uh, adhesion remover spray and keep wiping, but it's just taking so long. I guess it's, since I done the same thing on my truck, I guess it's a little since it was newer, it wasn't as hard to do. So uh, I'm guessing just because it's older, it's more tacky and it don't want to come off as good. So I'm gonna try the eraser wheel. I just ordered it, so it'll be a little while before it gets here.